Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back into the video. Today's video, we are going over the new packs that just dropped in NBA 2K22, my team. I'm pretty sure they're called Dunktober. I haven't really looked at them, but as you guys can see on the screen, these are some of the cards. So, if you look at all the cards, we got Oscar Robinson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Vince Carter, Jokic. We're going to go over all of them, but just saying those are the top ones. So yeah, let's just start with this Isaiah Ryder card. Um, actually, we probably won't start with this Isaiah Ryder card. I don't really care about him. Let's just go over the card set. So yeah, let's start with Josh Giddy. Okay, guys, so we got Josh Giddy here, who actually is a six foot eight small for a shooting guard with 70, uh, 70 wingspan, with seven foot wingspan. He's a 76 three ball, so it's, it's makeable. 84 speed, 84 acceleration. He's an 80 driving dunk. His defense is sort of, yeah, it's not very good, but 84 smooth ball, 86 ball handle, so he can dribble pretty well. And he's got good passing. Badges wise, guys, again, there's so many cards in this set, so I'm not going to really go over them. I'm going to just scroll over. You guys can really look through. I might point out some important ones like Bullet Passer, Floor General, Hands for Days, Space Creator, and Unpluckable. Yeah, but there's so many uh, guys to go through. But yeah, that's Josh Giddy. Is he worth it? If he's cheap, yeah, he looks like a pretty, he, he kind of feels like Lamelo. He might be a lot, but he might be worse than Lamelo, but I kind of see him as Lamelo. So yeah, let's go on to the next player. Again, guys, just going a little bit slower because these cards are sapphires, you know, they, they, they matter, but they're not, you know, crazy important. But anyway, Talon Horn Tucker, six foot four, seven foot one, the wingspan. He's got a 78 three ball, 75 driving dunk. He's got 79 speed. Okay, his defense is okay. His playmaking is okay. So this card, I'm gonna say, is probably not worth it. Probably better cards, but if you really want him, you can use him. Here are his badges. You guys can pause on the screen anytime you want to look. Can't really import, point at some important ones. Again, I'm gonna go way. I'm gonna go over the more um, the more high tier cards like this Oscar, Kareem, and Vince, and Kobe and Jordan or Kobe uh, Jokovic. We're gonna go over like crazy, but for these sapphires and rubies, you know, not gonna go over crazy. Now Cam Reddish, guys. This is a card I'm kind of excited for. Six foot eight, seven foot wingspan. So kind of like Josh Giddy. 81 three ball, 85 speed, 85 acceleration. He's got an 80 driving dunk, really good defense, 85 perimeter, 86 lateral, 82 steel, 81 ball handle. Wild card. Guys, this card looks like insane. He's got limitless takeoff on silver. He's got some good shooting badges, some good playmaking badges, and, and a few good uh, defensive badges. So Cam Reddish, probably worth it. Uh, also, guys, Talon Tucker, Horn Tur Tucker, he's not worth it at all. But Cam Reddish, I would say, is probably worth it. So now, guys, on to the first ruby we got here, Wendell Carter Jr. So he is a 6'10 center, can also play power forward. With the seven foot three wingspan he's got a 78 shot three okay that's pretty good for a center 68 speed it's not bad as well can't play my power forward then defense interior defense is all right blocks are right his post moves are good slow with the ball doesn't really matter rebounding is good i don't really like the look of this card again pause on the screen for any time you want to look at badges or ratings i'm not a big fan of this card i'm gonna say not worth it now guys this gary harris card actually might be pretty good six foot four six foot six, six, foot six wingspan so almost kind of like a Richie Guerin type, right? 84 3, 84 shot mid, 82 speed, 82 acceleration. He's got 75 driving hook, really good defense, 84 perimeter, 84 lateral, 82 steal. His speed and smooth ball, ball handle, and passings are right. So honestly, I would say this card is probably worth it looking at his badges as well. He looks like he's got a few good badges here. Uh, he's got good shooting badges actually with Miss Miss Expert. A couple good gold ones, a couple good silvers. And then uh, finishing, he's got some couple good ones as well. And his release is always money. Again, I'm not checking the releases, guys, because, again, no one really cares. His release is pretty money as well, so Gary Harris, worth it for me. Now, honestly, guys, this Lou Dort, if they give him the right stats and badges and he has the right animations, this card could be elite. He's 6'3", six 6'8", foot six foot wingspan. We know his defense is insane. 90 perimeter, 92 lateral quickness, 88 steel, with an 84 three ball as well, and he's got the 85 drunk, uh, drunking, <laughs> 80, 85 driving dunk, 82 speed, 82 acceleration. His speed doesn't really matter. He's just going to be a 3 and D type player. With probably a good release as well. Jump shot 107. Okay, it's just D Doug West. Whose release actually isn't that bad. Isaiah Thomas. So his release maybe isn't the best. But Lou Dort. Like I'll, we'll go back over the badges real quick. Because you guys didn't really get to see them. But his defensive badges are insane. Gold clamps. Intimidator. Menace. Pickpocket. Pick Dodger. Interceptor. He's got Intimidator as well. I think I already said that. Ball stripper. So yeah, I would say Lou Dort seems worth it to me. So now guys, let's get on to our first Amethyst card. Dennis Schroeder. Now, I might do a gameplay on one of these cards, depending on their price. So, you'll probably see a gameplay on these cards sometime today. You might see a gameplay. You may not. I can't promise anything. But uh, Dennis Schroeder here, 6'3", six 6'7", foot six foot wingspan, 79 three ball, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, can't dunk, defense is ass, 92 speed with ball, 90, uh, 88 ball handle. <coughs> you guys see his badges here. Playmaking is all right. Defense is not really good. Shooting, he only has bronze mismatch. Finishing is pretty good. He might be worth it. I'm going to say no. He might be worth it, though, depending on the price. Dennis Shooter looks like an okay card. 
Now, Donovan Mitchell, he does have potential to be a really good card. Six foot one, would be better if he could play point guard, but six foot ten wingspan, and I'm pretty sure he's good defense. Yeah, 88 perimeter, 90 lateral, 88 steel. He'll be fine at the shooting guard position because, you know, you put your point guard at shooting guard position anyways. 83, 83 shot three, uh, 86 mid range. We went over speed, right? 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 driving up, 93 speed with ball, 88 ball handle. Badges galore. Like how many badges this card has? Like how many badges this card have? Holy shit, guys. 15 bronze, 29 silver, 13 gold, one hall of fame. Fast twitch, guys. Okay, that. He's got mismatch on gold. Wow, okay. He's got some really good shooting badges. Wow, I like this card. Ooh, this card looks nasty. Okay, I like this card. I like this card. We may have to get a gameplay with this card, honestly, guys. I'm thinking about doing a gameplay, but Donovan Mitchell definitely, definitely looks worth it. His release is honestly pretty good in this game if they give him the same release as his, as his starter card. So, yeah, guys, on to our last and final Amethyst. Josh Smith also has potential to be really, really good. He's a 6'9 power forward center. I'd recommend playing him power forward. 7 foot wingspan, though. He's got 74 three ball, which is makeable 100%, especially his release is pretty good. 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 90 driving dunk. 90 driving lamp but guys look at this defense like look at this all around defense we got 91 interior 92 block 88 steel 86 lateral 88 perimeter like that's just crazy defense like, look at all these defensive stats speed with ball and ball handles not good again he's power forward so it doesn't really matter badges wise he's got really good defensive badges he's got like every def defensive badge in the game pickpocket i probably would recommend adding um and the finishing badge is good so shooting badge no so he'll kind of be like an austin uh austin car he'll kind of be like an ml car where if his release is good enough, he'll be able to shoot consistently. And he's just going to be a god-tier defender who can also drive. So yeah, Josh Smith, I'm going to say probably worth it. He looks to be a really good lockdown defender. So guys, now into our first diamond. Now all these cards, guys, up here are going to be really insanely good, in my opinion. Uh, Dirk will, will be good. He may not be as best as people thought he would be, but Kobe's going to be insane. Jokovic will, uh, Jokovic? Jokic will be insane. I think they called him Jokovic, like the tennis player at the start. Uh, Vince Carter, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and then Oscar Robertson. So let's start off with Dirk. So I think he only has a 55 driving dunk. That's what I heard. But he's a seven foot one, seven foot three, power forward center. Well, so you could run some cheesy like cream at the five, Dirk at the four, and just back people down. Um, especially if he has good back. Does he have back down punch or no? But you could probably add it to him, right? Postman technicians. You could add all the good um, post badges. That's something I would recommend, guys. Is if you really want to cheese, put him at power forward, put like cream or Wilt or Shaq or Dikembe at center, and just bully people. Uh, but 87 three ball, that's really good. 90 shot mid. He's slow as shit, but we all expected that. Defense is terrible. We all expected that. Post moves are really good with the 95 post fade. We all know about that. Rebounding solid. Badges wise, it's just the shooting badges are really good, except he does get limitless spot up. He does get mismatch on bronze. You can upgrade that as well. It doesn't really matter though, because nobody's going to be really that much taller than him. Uh, gold badges, good as well. Sniper, uh, blinders. You know, Hot Hunter Hall of Fame is really good, actually. If he's got hot spots, does he? Yeah. So he'll be able to shoot really good from those hot spots. Defensively, no badges. So he's just a shooter, man. I would say he's probably, again, I don't think any of these cards are going to be worth it to me. But I'll tell you guys. So, okay, guys, I'm saying this right now. All the diamonds and pink diamonds are not worth it to go pick up. But I'll tell you if they're good or not. Like, like obviously, they're all good. But are they, like, worth picking up? This card will not, not be worth picking up. Spend your MT somewhere else. Now, Kobe Bryant, probably one of the most hyped cards in this set. Six foot six, six foot eleven wingspan. We all know Kobe's release, by the way. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant on normal is pretty nice. Um, he's got a nine, 85 driving dunk, 88 speed, 80 acceleration, 83 shot three, 90 mid range. We all know Kobe's mid range. Defense is pretty good, honestly. 86 perimeter, 86 lateral, 82 steel. Defense, oh, sorry, speed and pass through with ball. Ball handles pretty good. Passing, we all know about Kobe's passing. <laughs> uh, but badge wise, guys, looks really good. 28 silver, 14 gold, three diamond. Not bad. He's got some good uh, Hall of Fame uh, uh, Deadeye, Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. He's got Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer. He's got Fade Ace, Blinders, Green Machine. So some really good badges here, guys. Uh, Silver Quick First Step, uh, Gold Space Creator, Intimidator. You have really good defensive badges. Actually, Menace, Clamps. Probably got a pickpocket. No pickpocket, but Intimidator Gold's really good. So, guys, Kobe's not worth it to pick up because it'll be so expensive. But is he a good card? Yes. I think he's one of the best shooting guards in the game. Our last diamond here, guys, could be really good, but could also be really shit going off his Evo card. So, he's 6'11", 7'3", wingspan. Um, 84 three ball, 88 shot mid. Not the slowest, to be honest. He could play just center. Not the slowest for a center. Defense? Yeah, pretty ass. Uh, 75 driving dunk, so that's pretty good. Good post moves. Speed with ball, honestly, in ball handle, pretty good for a center who's seven foot or six foot eleven. This card just seems kind of mid, though. He seems kind of mid. He's gonna get bullied in the paint with that interior defense being so low. 
in that block being so low. So if I have Wilt or Dikembe, you're getting back down. So guys, I would say that Nikola Jokic probably isn't worth picking up. And Vince Carter is our first pink diamond. This card, I think, looks nasty as hell, guys. I think this card looks really, really elite. He's 6'6", six 6'9", six, six wingspan. He's going 87 shot 3, 88 midrange, 89 speed, 89 acceleration with really good defense, to be honest, for a Vince Carter card. 83 perimeter, 83 lateral, 73 steel. Driving dunk, 95. We all know his driving dunk. Uh, 85 suit ball, 83 ball handle, 82 passing, actually. Always has a pretty solid release with all these badges, guys. You guys can see here. Really good shooting badges for a, a Vince Carter. And we all know Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. Guys, what the hell? Now this card looks crack, dude. Vince Carter, really good. Is he worth going for? No, but is he really good? Yes. Now, Kareem, a card I think is overhyped, but we'll have to see. Let me see here. 7'2, seven 7'5 foot seven foot wingspan. Okay. Can't shoot threes. Okay. Speed's kind of not low, but it's slower than Wilt. So, quickly going over 90 interior, 88 block. Badges wide defensively, we all know he's going to be insane. So, he is probably better than Wilt, but for how much he's going to cost, I mean, Wilt also, you got to go 12 0. So, Kareem looks to be a really, really good card. And lastly, guys, let's go over this Oscar Robinson. I probably wouldn't go for Will, uh, Kareem. I'd stick with getting some other budget centers. Uh, so Oscar could be really good with a 6'5 point guard. Yep. 6'8 wingspan. He's got 85 shot three. 75 driving dunk. Really good defense. He's really fast as well. 87 speed. 87 acceleration. 87 speed with the ball. 92 ball handle. Really good passing. These are the badges, guys. You guys can pause at any time on the screen. Look at his badges. But he got some really good finishing badges. Some really good playmaking badges. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. We went over all the cards that just dropped in Dunktober set. More videos coming out with draft videos, card gameplays, maybe going over some other stuff they added spotlight-wise or some other stuff. We'll see. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, enjoy, did enjoy the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.